So how's it going bosses? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Now, a couple of days ago, well, uh, last week, uh, end of last week, I was actually wearing one of the Fragrance Dubois fragrance pens. Uh, a couple of asked people asked me on Instagram how these perform compared to the regular fragrances. So I'm gonna be back in just a second to tell you all about it. So welcome back, you're watching the Luxury Fragrance Boss channel. My name's Scott, of course I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss. Now last week, as I said, I had a full wearing of one of the fragrance pens from Fragrance de Bois. The one that I chose to wear, I've actually got three of these. Um, I've got Oud Ver, Oud Violet Intense, which they kindly sent me with my bottle of Oud Violet and also Syrah Oud as well, which I absolutely adore Syrah Oud. And as I don't have a bottle of it, I've still got a little bit left of the, um, of the sample that they sent me, but I thought I'd give the pen a good wearing. So I thought I'd try that out, try out the um, try out the oil pens. Um, these retail at around, I think it's 50 pounds, somewhere around that sort of mark. So probably about 60 US dollars, but some somewhere around that sort of that price range. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a review of these, because as I said, I had a couple of people ask me how these perform compared to the fragrances. I'm happy to say that these do perform really, really well. Um, I would say very, very comparable to the fragrance itself. Um, I mean, the way these work is pretty much got a little brush here. Um, and then you press the, oh, the lid's running across the desk there. Um, you just press the little button that's on there and it oozes out a little bit of oil. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna waste the oil that's inside there. Um, but yeah, you just, and it a little bit oozes out and then, I mean, I, I don't know how you really apply, but I just put it on my finger and then sort of dabbed it on my neck just like that. Um, now, at first I thought it was a little bit weaker. I couldn't smell it just to begin with, but I think that was where I was driving to work and the air conditioning was probably blowing it away from me. But once I got to work, and obviously I was in a much more stiller environment, less windy, because obviously I got that air conditioning really, really pumped up in the mornings at the moment, because it's very, very hot here. It's like 90, 95 degrees most of the, most of the mornings. That's at eight o'clock in the morning. That's before we even get anywhere near midday. Uh, so yeah, I mean, once I got to work, and th this I could smell just as much as when I was wearing the, um, wearing the fragrance itself. Really, really a great performance. I could still smell this the next morning as well when I woke up. So, I mean, fantastic as far as longevity. Projection, I would say, is probably a tiny, only tiny bit softer than the uh, the regular fragrance. Sarara Oud is quite a powerful fragrance. This was definitely not lacking in strength, though. I mean, I could smell this very, very clearly. In fact, because this one's a little bit unique, I would definitely say that this one is a unique fragrance. One of the reasons that I do love Serato is because of its uniqueness. Um, there was actually times in the day where I'd, I'd suddenly smell something. I think, oh God, I really like the smell of that. Oh, I don't know what that is. And then I realize it's actually me. So um, that's one of, the, one of the things that I really do love about this fragrance. But yeah, I'm happy to say the pens, as far as performance goes, they are very, very comparable to, um, as I said, to the actual fragrance itself. So I mean, top marks, really. Um, these are also fantastic for traveling. It means you don't need to sort of have small bottles or put them in plastic bags and things like that because it's oil. So I mean, fantastic for taking on planes and have it in your handbag or I mean, a man bag, I guess. I don't really tend to carry a man bag, but some guys do. Um, so I mean, that's my thoughts on the fragrance pens. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrance pens. Um, as well as um, the other fragrances as well to be able to compare them to. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. As usual, please like, comment and subscribe. As I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. You can find me at Luxury Fragrance Boss. That way you can keep up to date the center day, anything else I've got going on, um, anytime the cats are terrorizing me, um, pictures of the golf course when I'm there, taking pictures of the fragrances in the morning, things like that. Uh, don't forget to um, hit that notification bell so you never miss another video of mine again. That way you get notified anytime I'm releasing a new one so you'll be the first to know. Um, other than that, stay smelling fantastic. Look forward to seeing you very soon and thank you so much for watching.